The feeling is a cross between riding a magic carpet and riding two horses bareback. So there's a, a union between the machinery and the bike and your body itself. Hi, I'm Chris Hoffman, the inventor of the world's first single wheel electric motorcycle. So when I first started the Rhino bike, I was making it in my garage, and I finally got to a point where I needed a real machine shop and somebody to support me make parts. So I came to Florin, and we'd known each other for a while. I said, what do you think of this idea? I was very serious about the fact that this wasn't going to work. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, OK, dude, I will take that challenge. No, the idea of having a, a unicycle, I've seen a lot of these ideas floating around on the internet. It was very hard to believe that it can be done and, and so that it can work. After I cut my mountain bike in half and figured out that wasn't going to work, I built the first prototype. I don't build prototypes that are crappy. I mean, everything I do is beautiful. So it, it took me almost a whole year to pound out all the aluminum pieces and take the machine shop class and make the machined parts for the gear. Yeah, by the time I got all the way done with all that, a whole year had gone by. At the center of the bike is a gyro, and it's a little accelerometer that knows where the center of the Earth is. So that shows up in software as a tilt angle. So if the bike leans forward, it simply drives the wheel under the center of gravity. So it's very stable. And it's also very powerful. So, you know, it'll do that really quick. So left and right, it steers like a bike. So if I want to steer the bike, I can turn around and go on corners really tight. And it feels just like I'm riding on two wheels, but it's one wheel. Do we have to do something simple? Because if you add two wheels and flywheels, it's just going to get too complicated and it's going to be too expensive. So the only thing we could do was add steering like on a bike. And my software guy's like, what sense does that make? It's one wheel. I'm like, let's, let's just build it. So we just slapped some stuff together, welded this frame, put some handlebars on the front, and added this steering linkage in the back. So he puts the software into the spike, we turn it on, and I just ride off down the street, like magic. We built prototype two to add some level of steering, just to prove that, you know, would steering have an effect? And that prototype was what I started riding around my neighborhood because it was so much fun. Um, but at one point, I'm riding that bike along, and the gyro came unplugged and smashed into the ground, and I ended up going into the ground pretty hard. I mean, I, I could have killed myself, you know, and there was a moment there where um, the day after I hurt myself, I'm standing in the living room of my house, and the bike is laying out in the driveway in the pouring rain because the neighbors brought it home, and I asked myself that question, you know, do I want to continue to do this? And there was something in me that said, you know, I'm not done. The fact that you were riding on one wheel, which seems really counterintuitive, like it would make it really difficult, but the magic of the steering and the, and the balance technology together allowed the Rhino to be this simple platform that you sit on and it moves you around the city. You're able to put your feet down on the ground when you're stopped so my hands are free. Uh, I'm at eye level with people, so we can interact and hang out. I can spin on axis and go in a different direction instantly, unlike a bicycle where you have to sort of like make a big turn. It's hard to get your head around when you first see it because it's so smooth the when you ride it. Because most people that watch a unicycle rider, they're flailing their arms around and trying to stay in balance. And this thing just goes by like it's on a railroad track and they can't figure it out. I mean, to get to this point, it was probably about $5,000 out of my pocket. And then, you know, to get to that point, it was more like $80,000. You know, by that time, I had left my marriage and sold my house. It's really cool. Are you the inventor? Mm -hmm. It's like a dance. It teaches you something about yourself, almost. After you're done riding around, you feel better. It's kind of euphoric, kind of exciting as you move through an urban landscape and, and find your destination. I look for emerging technologies that will change our lives. There's a balance we all have between uh, the, f the future we envision and what we're willing to give up, you know, to actually get to that future. I just built it, and it wasn't until I started riding it around in the city that I discover really what it was. And it just turned out to be an interesting platform to move the human body around in space.